Hey, what's up, YouTube? How y'all doing today? It's Jay the Play today. So what I'm gonna show you guys today, uh, we gonna do a little bit of tutorial today on some LSPDFR. And you guys already know we just got a little update for a legacy and enhance. So of course we had to, you know what I mean, get that thing up in here. So uh, let's start though. You feel me? If you like this video, please give me a like. Please give me a subscribe. I really appreciate it. Much love. All right. So what we going to do, we going to do some tutorial. Like I said, the LSPDFR, the police mod. So what we want to do first, you already got a couple tabs open already so we can get this started. So our first one here with LSPD first response obviously so we're gonna download this file right here this is 0 0.49 so it said it should be installed in legacy edition the enhanced version is not supported that mean it's not gonna take it so what we want to do first we're gonna download this file you feel me download this file and in the most latest version now you can choose if you want to do manually or you want to do a setup okay so I'm going to do a setup because I think it's better in my opinion. So I don't have to go through all that hard work and just keep dragging and dropping. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. See, I already kind of installed it, but like I wanted to fix it because it was messing up a little bit I, because I think, I guess I had to make sure it was like, you, you know, the latest version of things like that. So we're going to go ahead and press keep anyway. I don't care about all that. Okay. So we're going to press yes. And we're just going to go ahead and remove this because we don't need this anymore, okay? And we're going to press OK. And you want to press Next. Uh, obviously, you agree into the terms and things like that. You want to agree, press Next, Install. And you just want to put it all up in there. Pretty simple. You know, you can launch, launch the configure. That's what you want to do, okay? Um, then after you do that, it's going to guide you. You know, just do the show the license and everything will pretty much set up into the uh, the folder, the files, if you want to say that. OK, then it says we recommend disabling the version. Just do it for me. You don't have to do all that work. It's been installed. So and if you actually get, if you if you guys can actually look right here it's actually right here all the lspd it comes with rage plugin hook it comes with the the folder i mean like the file and things like that as you guys can see so pretty much yeah um our next one we gonna install that we that we need okay and i'm gonna just search this up for you guys because i don't really care about all that so we gonna Let's search up. Hold up. Give me a second. ELS, which is emergency lightning system. Uh, give me a second. Let me try finding it real quick. Or maybe I should have probably put the other one like that. Let me go back, guys, real quick. Okay. So the next one is the emergency lightning system for the police mod which that's what you guys just want to do pretty much. It's just really just going to direct it down here, I think. Uh, should it? Is it going to? Oh, yeah, here we go. It's hard to search a bill, so... All right, Um. so this is our second one. We want to download this file. And you want to make sure you install the advanced hook as long, as, as long with that. I'm sorry. If you want... If you don't want your game to mess up, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do the advanced hook first. And then we're going to go ahead and go back. I'm going to do download this file, agree and download. And then we want to do the latest one, which is 1.05. We want to do that. Okay. And so as you guys can see here, we have these two popping up. And like I said, they just did this update. So I obviously did this before. So we're going to go ahead and do extract because you that's that's basically unzipping the file okay so you want to make sure the file is unzipped you know what i mean so it's going to conflict it and so what you want to do you want to have your two files here you want to have your grant that photo directory okay your els 
Um, it's pretty simple, but advanced hook, what you want to do, you want to go ahead and drag and drop this, make sure it's in your directory. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to navigate to that. So you want to go to your, your drive. You can really go to your documents. I think you can. Let me see. Nope. So you want to go to this PC, which I got this PC, uh, programs X64. You want to go to steam, steam apps. You want to go to common. You want to go to Grant Theft Auto V, and then you want to go, and this is how you propped your directory. Okay, see, I already have it, but I'm just going to have to update it just a little bit. Um, so what you want to do, like I said, drag and drop it into your directory. I'm going to replace the file so it doesn't fuck up. You know what I mean? Okay, now next what we got, we got our ELS, which we, which we really need. And you want to go to installation files. You don't really have to go to anything else. Just go to your installation files. Go to your grant that photo. It says it grant that photo. And then you want to go to your, this is exactly how you want to be. Do not, if you see this in the ELS, do not place this down because this is an older version of advanced hook. As you guys can see, obviously, you know, when you went to the website and whatnot it was already telling you like this is the the updated version of advanced hook so do not touch this okay because you already just placed this one down okay so what you want to do you want to grab three of these els the folder and you want to grab the files these two files and all you want to do drag and drop it into grant that photo it's so simple guys it's so simple it's so easy okay so next, what we're going to get, um, give me a second here. It's pretty simple, like I said, y'all. Um, next, what we want to do, we want to get EUP menu. So it's basically like a menu for your, your built-in more uniforms pack and things like that. So you want to do download, same thing here. Um, just download that and then it's going to pop right up at the top and we're waiting for it. Do, 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 We're still waiting on it. Let me see. Okay. Maybe let's just go back. <laughs> maybe I kind of removed it too fast. It's not, you know, I'm not trying to go fast here though. Oh, there you go. I didn't know it gives it like a couple of seconds. I don't know that. Okay, so here we go. We want to go to the EUP release. So let's read this file. I mean, like this. Let's let's read what it is. It's a built menu for the popular emergency uniforms pack, which is uh, right here. And then there's another one, which is serve. Well, this one, well, the first one is law and order and the other one is serve and rescue. So we want to also put this within that. And we're just going to download three of these. And like I said, it said, if you wish to install it with LML, recommend it. Or if you just want to just do the OIV file, I think in my opinion, the OIV file is so much better, y'all. So in my opinion, it's better, okay? So we're downloading that. Then another one more thing we want is the serve and rescue. So I'm just gonna put this here, just like this, just like, just like this, y'all. Okay. Then once you do that, it downloads both of them. My stuff a little bit slow. I don't know why it's been messing up lately. So with your EUP, we're just gonna put place them place them down a little bit, put them on the side since they still download. So with your EUP, like I said, once again, you want to extract because that's unzipping the file and you don't want to mess that up and conflict that within the game. Actually, it pretty, pretty much won't let you anyway. So what you want to do, guys, you want to go to files. You want to make sure this comes within a Rage Native, but I will recommend just downloading a Rage Rage Native. I think it comes within your LSPDFR, so you don't really have to play, place that down. Just leave the Rage Native alone, y'all. Um, leave that alone because it comes within the game. I think so. Let me go ahead and check. If not, then I'll have to just place it down. Let me see. It should be down. Let me search it up a little bit. 
Oh, no. Actually, I don't have it. Okay. Well, yeah. I'm probably just going to actually download it within a source by itself. So what you want to do, like I said, you want to stay in your Grand Theft Auto directory. And as it's telling you what the first file is, the first folder is plugins. So what you want to do, go up here and you see plugins right here. It's a EUP menu, and all you have to do is drag and drop it. It's going to copy that, and like I said, I already have that in there, so you want to replace it, and it comes right down here, right down here, okay? All right, and so we are good to go on that end. Um, let me go back and see if any one of them... Okay, so, so the serve one is first like the i mean like the serve and rescue one so what we want to do guys we want to actually eliminate the grant that photo directory on this end right here what you want to do you want to have you want to open up open iv and i'm gonna i'm pretty much trying to show you guys in the next video if you guys want to know how to install open iv okay and how to put your mods folder and things like that in the game i will teach you how to do that if you want to know just let me know in the comments i'll always be happy to help so what you want to do with the serve and rescue all you have to do and these are called just open iv regular files some of these files are uninstallable so you gotta really pretty pretty please pretty pretty much all you got to do just please be careful y'all please be careful you don't want to mess up your game because I used to do that a lot like a couple years ago. So you don't want to mess up your game when it comes to the open IV because these are you got to be really careful. OK, so with the open IV, all you have to do and this is also the directory It's just within open IV. So all you want to do with the OIV file, you just want to drag and drop it and put it in the middle or put it anywhere else. And then it just installs. OK, and then you want to make sure it's installed into mods folder. OK. Now, I think if you put it into your games, I don't think it's going to really change, but it is better with your mods folder. OK, so you if don't run it. OK, right now, if you're if you're still installing things, don't don't run it Um, with your second one, which is. Wait, what was it again? Uh, it was. uh Oh yeah, law and law and order. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, so you want to also do the same exact thing, and then if you get like a red thing, all you gotta do is just press the top, and then just all you gotta do is just dump it right up in there. It's so simple, everybody. Just a simple installation. You want to do that? Okay. And then I want to go ahead and move on to the main things you really need for your game, which I have these all right here in my release files, my release tabs, my bad. Um, so first things first, you need your pack file limit adjuster. Uh, it pretty much helps your game not crashing. OK, so you want to do this because when it comes to mods, you got to be very careful. OK, so what you want to do, open the file and things like that. Um, if you want to read the file, we can go ahead and read the file. It says the requirements, you need the, a, the ASI loader. The installation doesn't really show up on here. I guess they, oh, actually it's right here. My bad. Okay. So it says simply drop pack limit adjuster, ASI and INI into your Grant Theft Auto folder. So that is your Grant Theft Auto directory, like we talked about. So you just want to go ahead and eliminate that. You don't need that. Um, and then you just want to pull up your Grand Theft Auto directory. I already got it. And so what you want to do, all you got to do is just grab these two, like it said, drag and drop it. So simple. Good. Okay. So the next one, everybody, the next one we're going to need is heat adjuster. Okay. And like I said, um, you're going to need these. These are very, very important when it comes to mods, okay? Very, very important, you know. Like I said, we're going to grab this. And you want to do the exact same thing. Usually with ASI files, you really want to put it into your main directory because it's going to really play a part in it. Um, so much simple. Um, 
So you just want to get rid of that. And then, like I said, with this, let me go ahead and eliminate that so I don't confuse you guys. So with your heap ingester, you just want to put the same thing, drag and drop that and put it inside of here. OK, as you can see, the pack file, the pack limit and the heap ingester. OK, so what you want to do. All you have to do is just get rid of that, eliminate that. It's so simple. Uh, your next thing is resource adjuster. I don't really think people really pay attention to this, which you really need to as well. It just helps with your performance and things like that. In my opinion, I think, like, so what you want to do, same thing. You want to extract it. Same thing, y'all. If you want to speed up the process because you kind of understand it, that's fine. So what you want to do drag and drop it same thing okay all right okay so next things next is game config this is what you really need when it comes to when when it comes to your traffic wise and your other things okay so what you want to do you want to download this and this is where you're going to use open iv again so you don't need this i eliminate this right now so we're just going to let it download. Let's go ahead and clear it. Oops, <laughs> my bad. Let's just re-download that again. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to wait and boom. We're going to go back and then we're going to extract. OK. So once you do that, everybody, uh, next thing is next, you want to open up your open IV again, and then you're just going to do that. Okay. And after that, so you have your game config here and, uh, it tells you basically what I just told you what to install before that your heap adjuster, your pack file, this is not available anymore. So do not try to search that up. It's not going to be there. So what you want to do, you want to open up, keep your open IV up in your file. So you want to go to this first GTA config is the latest version. If you want less mods, meaning like less traffic and things like that, and your pedestrians basically how they run. So what I'm going to do, me personally, I do two times traffic, two times the ped. So what you want to do, you want to have game config here. You want to go to your mods, update, x64. Oops, no way. You know what? I don't think you go there. I'm sorry. Uh, hold on. I think you go update, update, RPF. You want to go to data and you should see game config. So you want to go to mods, update, update RPF, common, and then data. And, th and then this is where it should lead you. And you should see a XML text called game config. Now, all you want to do, you don't have to mess with it pretty much. This is, but this is going to go up. Okay. So all you have to do, whatever you put in your game, uh, you just drag and drop it and it's going to change all you got to do boom it should have went up but i think it's going to be fine i think it's just pretty much probably the same size so but we're done with that now another thing another thing here everybody i'm going to also show you guys the the plugins and the and the LSPDFR when it comes to the other things. So, but that will be next video. So, I really appreciate you guys for watching this video. I truly, truly, really appreciate this. I really hope you guys give me a like and a comment and a subscribe, or just let me know whatever videos you guys want me to do next. And I got you. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Jada plays out.